What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to make TK Inter graphical user interface applications responsive. So let us get right into it. All right, now as a quick preview, what does it mean to make a GUI application responsive? This is a non-responsive application. So we have some labels, some entry fields here, some buttons, some text boxes. And when I resize the window, you can see it's not responsive. Everything stays the same size. Whereas if I have a responsive GUI, when I resize it, you can see that every component is resized and adjusted as well. This is what we're going to learn how to do today in TK Inter. And we're going to do that by first building the unresponsive or non-responsive uh, graphical user interface and then making it responsive with a couple of arguments. So we're going to start by saying import TK Inter as, or actually we're going to say from, no, actually we're going to say import TK Inter as TK. And we're going to say that the root is going to be equal to TK TK. And then we're going to add the UI elements. Now we're going to use frames. So we're going to have two frames and we're going to have um, actually the GUI that I showed you. So we're going to have here, let me just show you again. Uh, we're going to have label entry label entry label text box or text field button. This is one frame and then we're going to have the other frame which is going to be label text box or text field and button that's going to be the structure. So we're going to say frame one is equal to TK frame, which is part of the root. And frame two is also a frame part of the root. Now to frame one, again, we're going to add a label entry, and so on. So label one is equal to TK label. We're going to say that is part of frame one. And we're going to say that the text of this label, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to just say text one, or actually label one, then we're going to say entry one is equal to TK entry. Also part of frame one, no additional arguments, then we're going to copy this, we're going to make it twice like this text is now label two, then we want to have a label three text also equal to label three. And then we're going to add a text field. So text one is equal to TK text. Here we're going to say frame one again, and we're going to say that the width is going to be equal to 20 and the height is going to be equal to five. And finally, we're going to add a button button one is equal to TK button, also part of frame one. <clears throat> Sorry. And the text of that button is going to be button one. All right, now we want to pack all this now without making it responsive. What this means is we're going to just pack it. So we're going to say label one pack label two pack in between. Of course, we want to have the same um, or the right order here, because otherwise, if I pack the labels first, I'm going to have label, 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 entry, entry, text field. So we want to do label one pack entry one pack label two pack entry two pack label three pack and then text one pack and button one pack. Very simple. Now for the second frame, we're going to do another label label four is going to be equal to TK label, the parent is going to be frame two this time, the text is going to be equal to to label four. And then we're going to say text two is equal to TK text part of frame two, width of 20, height of 10. And then we're going to have another button button two is going to be equal to TK button frame two. text is equal to button two. All right, and then we're going to pack again in the same order. So text two pack as well as button two pack in the end here. And finally, we're going to do frame one pack with site being equal <clears throat> to TK dot left and frame to pack site TK left as well. And finally, root main loop to run the application. This is now the exact graphical user interface that I showed you before not responsive. Now making this responsive, of course, it depends on your UI, it depends on the elements you have, you're going to have to use slightly different uh, keywords and so on. 
But to make this responsive now, this is just a simple example. Uh, all we have to do is we have to provide the fill arguments and we need to provide the expand arguments because those are going to allow the elements to expand and they're going to tell the elements in which directions to expand or to fill. So what we have to do here is we're just going to say for all these UI elements here, except for the text box, we're going to say fill equals X, which means we're filling in the X direction. We're filling in the horizontal axis, which means the label will not be resized also on the vertical axis. If we resize the window, it's only going to be resized on the horizontal axis on the X axis. We're going to do that here for all these UI elements. We're not going to do it for the text field because for the text field, since the text field also has a height, we want to also scale the height. So we want to do here fill equals both. So X and Y vertical and horizontal. And we're going to say expand equals true. This is how we do that for this UI element. Now here, very simple as well, just fill equals both, uh, not both, sorry, wrong element fill equals X fill equals both expand equals true and fill equals x. And that is actually what we need to do to make this not responsive. Because of course, forgot one important thing, we need to do the same thing, of course, for the frames themselves. So the frames themselves also need to be resized in both directions. So fill equals both expand equals true fill equals both expand equals true. And now when I try to resize the window, there you go, the whole UI is responsive and scaling dynamically. So that's what you need to do to make your GUI applications in TK inter responsive. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.